Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 Auto Approval Rules plugin. And uh, in today's video tutorial, we'll be showing you the uh, front end workflow and the back end initial configurations that are required for this particular plugin that's the Magento 2 Auto Approval Rules plugin. And before we proceed further, let me give you a small gist about the plugin itself. So as we know that the big purchases uh, that are done within the marketplaces uh, basically require submitting a request for the purchase initially, then uh, giving admin approval for the same and lastly making the payment for the product. But now uh, using this particular plugin, uh, the customers can place the order initially and can then wait for the admin approval to complete their orders. So actually we have uh, just made this uh, uh, plugin to easing up the uh, process of uh, approval from the admins end so that the uh, whenever the uh, B2B customer places an order for the uh, products the uh, orders that have been placed would then be uh, automatically approved depending on the rules that the admin has set up for the same from the admin backend panel so uh, the uh, customers as well as the guest users can uh, basically place the orders and then wait for the admin approval to complete their orders. So uh, let's go to the front end first and let's see what different uh, uh, options are there and how the uh, workflow works at the front end as well. And then we'll just go to the admin backend to uh, check the initial configuration settings and the other options available uh, within the module configuration settings. And uh, one more thing uh, uh, that I forgot to tell you is that uh, whenever a guest customer places the order and uh, while the order uh, satisfies the condition of the order approval, at that time this particular plugin would ask the guest customer to log in at the time of placing the order. So right now I'm at the uh, Magento 2 web store front end as you can see at the uh, checkout page. So I've added the uh, one uh, product into my cart and uh, now we'll be seeing the workflow here for the uh, customer so I'll be choosing my shipping method and uh, thereafter I'll just tap the next button and uh, right now we are on the payment uh, method selection uh, page as you can see and on the right hand side we can see the order summary and uh, the uh, total amount that uh, needs to be paid and under the payment methods here you can see the uh, payment methods uh, that the admin has enabled uh, from the back end that would be used for the order approval so only the order approval product uh, order approval uh, payment methods would be available for use to the customers here and after selection of the respective uh, payment method payment method for the order approval uh, the customer can tap here on the place order button Apart from that, you can also see that we have this uh, particular message for the customers that this order will be under moderation and uh, the order would be approved later by the admin. Now, uh, as soon as uh, we place the order, uh, what happens is that uh, the, the uh, customer gets the order confirmation uh, mail on his email address. So now let's go ahead and let's uh, place the order and uh, for which we have chosen the payment method for the order approval that has been set by the uh, marketplace admin so let's tap the place order button and after uh, placing the order we'll just go to the my orders section uh, for this particular customer and uh, the order has been uh, placed as you can see so now let's uh, tap here on the order number to check the uh, order details under the customer uh, my orders section and here we have the order number 98 and uh, the order total is $880 and the status right now is order approval pending. So uh, the status basically uh, provides the customers uh, with the uh, information that uh, whether the admin has approved the orders or not and uh, uh, a complete order link is available there if the order is uh, approved by the admin otherwise the order disapproved status would get updated for the respective order and that will be then uh, visible here under the status for that particular order that the customer would have placed. So right now you can see that uh, for this, uh, we have already canceled it uh, because the uh, order got uh, disapproved by the admin. And here we can see the order was uh, placed and uh, right now it's in the processing state. 
and uh, this one is the fresh one and here we can see the status as auto approval pending now whenever the admin uh, what uh, enables it or approves it then it would be in the processing mode and uh, so this was the workflow of the customers within the b2b system or the imagine to do web store itself and uh, now let's go to the admin backend panel and uh, before that let me show you how the guests would be uh, able to place the orders so uh, for that i'll just uh, log out of my customer account and uh, we'll be uh, doing the same we'll be uh, placing our, an order without uh, creating our uh, account within the machine to do uh, web store itself but uh, at the time of uh, choosing the payment at that time the guest needs to uh, basically register himself before placing the order so right now i'm at the uh, web store front end on the auto approval section here and i'm not logged into my uh, i've not created any uh, account yet and as a cust guest customer i'll just uh, add this particular product into my cart and i can set the quantity like 20 30 40 whatever i want uh, to purchase and uh, after adding it uh, to the shopping cart uh, now we'll be making a checkout so i'll just tap here and then proceed to checkout so now here you can see that uh, as soon as we try to go to the checkout so as to place this order we have this particular pop-up that that's asking the guest user uh, to basically create an account uh, that has basically many ben benefits there so on the left hand side you can see the checkout as a new customer otherwise you can check out using your account if you have an account so we'll just tap here on the create an account button and that would navigate this particular guest user uh, to the registration page wherein he'll be able to register himself and then place the order itself so we'll just show you how uh, the guests can register and then place the order and uh, thereafter we'll also be showing you how the admin would be able to uh, approve the request from the customers and then how the customers can proceed further and uh, find the complete order link within the respective orders after the order has been approved by the admin from the backend panel so now let's go back to the create new customer account and uh, let me enter the details first and then we'll be creating an account so i've added the uh, details here for the create new customer account and uh, let's tap here on the create an account button now and after the creation of the account now we are redirected to the checkout page once again so that we can place the order for the uh, chosen quantity of the products so I'll just enter the details here like the street address, city and the rest and then we'll proceed further to place the order. So I've just added my address, city and the rest of the details. Now let me choose the shipping method and tap next. And now we're on the uh, payment page. On the right hand side we have the order summary. And under the payment methods here you can see the order approval payment method that the admin has uh, assigned uh, for this particular thing. So uh, the uh, customer just needs to choose the payment method from the available order approval methods. And uh, here you can see again, the order will be under moderation and that order will be approved later by the admin. Now let me place the order and let's check the order number. And uh, then uh, I'll be showing you the complete order uh, feature for the customers how they can complete the order from their account panel itself after the approval of the order from the admins backend panel for the plugin itself uh, the order has been placed and the order number is uh, 199 let me open that up and here you can see that uh, it's a new account for Peter Doe that we had created and the order is uh, 99 and for 1440 dollars and the status right now is order approval pending now uh, let me open the view order section for this particular uh, order now uh, and here for this order you can see that uh, we have the uh, heading here that says uh, order approval pending right now and we have the details and we have the payment method that has been uh, used by the uh, customer as assigned by the admin from the backend panel so now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let's uh, approve this particular order and then we'll have this complete order option here to the right of the reorder link so for that let me take you to the admin backend panel 
and I, I'll be logging into my admin account for the Magento 2 web store by entering my username password and tapping on the sign in button thereafter and uh, after the login the admin needs to navigate through uh, sales and then, and then uh, going to the pending orders uh, section here under the sales and from here the admin uh, would be able to view and manage the orders which are pending for the approval from the back end panel and this brings up the pending order for approval section as you can see so all of the orders that have been placed from the uh, web store front end uh, for the uh, products that would be listed here under the pending orders for approval and here we have our order number 99 for 1440 dollars and the status is right now order approval pending and uh, and the admin can uh, basically view the uh, particular order as well now how we how the admin can approve this order for that uh, the admin needs to check that particular uh, order and uh, then from the actions drop down he can choose the approve order or the disapprove approve order as required apart from that you here you can see the status for each of the uh, pending orders so for a fresh pending order we have the order approval pending and similarly uh, for example if uh, any of the orders have been uh, uh, completed or approved from the admin end then we have the order approved and if we disapprove it you can see the uh, the admin can see the order disapproved uh, uh, status under the status column here so uh, now uh, for this particular order number 99 let me approve this by choosing approve order and in the meantime for the order 99 uh, these are the details uh, that can be seen by the uh, web store admin himself and uh, now let's go back to the uh, page where we just approved the order and here you can see that uh, we have this successfully approved uh, message and uh, at the same time and a new notification is also sent out uh, for the order approval or disapproval of the orders to the admin and to the customers as well and uh, now you can see that we have the status as uh, order approved and now let's go to the web store front end for the customer there who was a guest initially so let's go and let's check the uh, details of the order number 99 for that so here i am at that particular order page for the order number 99 let me refresh the page once and uh, this is the uh, email that the uh, customer received whenever the order is approved so the order number 99 is approved and uh, here is the message uh, that the customer receives uh, whenever the, the customer places an order and when it's under the moderation so here you can see that we have currently under moderation uh, text and uh, this was the uh, default one that's for uh, placing the order and creating an account basically basically creating an account only and this one was for the uh, when the order was placed and was under moderation when the account uh, uh, when the order got approved this one is the respective approved uh, mail that the customer uh, gets and now under the order number 99 for the uh, customer here you can see that we have the complete order link to the right of the reorder as i've already told you after the approval of the order from the admin backend panel and now the customer can tap here to process the uh, order completely so i've just opened this uh, complete order section in a, another window for uh, for a moment now and in the meantime uh, let me show you if uh, the order uh, basically gets disapproved uh, what option comes to the customer so after completing this order we'll just place one more order and then I'll show you the uh, details of, of the order when it's disapproved from the admin backend panel so here we are the uh, checkout page now after tapping the uh, complete order link uh, under the uh, customers account here for the respective order after it has been approved by the admin and uh, under the payment method here the uh, uh, customer can choose the uh, payment method for this particular order now and uh, we'll just choose this one tap the uh, place order button to place the order and to complete this particular order as well and the order has been placed uh, for the order number 99 that's the same order now let's check the details of this particular order by tapping here 
on the order number and now we can see that uh, the uh, order status has changed from uh, a waiting for approval to pending right now and the complete the order link has been uh, removed from here and the payment method chosen by the customer to complete this particular order is also visible here to the customer himself now let me take you to the back end and here under the uh, sales and orders now you can see the order number 99 and for 1440 dollars the status has changed to pending and uh, now if you view the particular actions under the uh, under the view uh, page for this particular uh, order that we have placed then so here the admin can see the cancel invoice and the ship options for this particular uh, order that has been completely placed by the customer so initially uh, what it means is that when the customer initially placed the order after that the order was approved by the admin then the customer completed the order by tapping on the complete order link for that particular uh, order under his own account and thereafter only the cancel invoice and ship options would be available to the admin to uh, process the particular order and uh, Apart from that, also uh, we can see that the uh, right now the order status is pending, as is visible on the uh, order here. So here we have the pending, and here also we have the pending. Now, after the invoice has been generated, uh, the order would be set as uh, complete. So uh, let's check that out. So I'll just tap here on the invoice button after I've received the payment from the customer. So that was for uh, the pending order and uh, I'll just take you back to the that section that we're talking about uh, that's the invoice one so in the meantime let me tell you if the order approval uh, is pending at that time uh, what is uh, that because the customer has not uh, completed the order so it's not gone to the uh, pending one so right now if uh, the admin tries to view this order that has yet not been uh, approved let's see what different options are there on the uh, order view page with that so here for the order number 98 you can see that we don't have the invoice and ship options and the uh, order status for that right now is order approval pending only after it's uh, gone to the or changed to the pending one after completion of the order from the customer's end can the invoice and shipment options be available now this is our uh, previous order, order number 99 and i'll just uh, submit the invoice to uh, complete this particular order from the admin backend panel so the invoice has been created for this uh, particular order now the status is showing processing and for the same the order is showing processing here and the customer has his invoice as well and now let's uh, complete the order by uh, and after completion of the order it uh, basically uh, works uh, just like the default uh, Magento itself and the order would uh, then be displaying uh, as complete so uh, and uh, after completing the order from the customer and from the admins and as well uh, that particular order that we had just placed uh, the order number 99 so uh, basically those orders then uh, are removed from the pending orders for approval section as you can see right now we only have the order number 98 and uh, to check that particular order you can navigate through orders again and uh, there you'll find that particular order so that's uh, basically by uh, tapping here on the sales and then orders right now we are under the sales and pending orders and uh, this is the order uh, approval status if it's uh, disapproved then the, for that particular order you'll have this disapproved uh, uh, mail to the customer so the same mails are sent out to the admin as well now uh, let's see what the initial configurations are required for this particular plugin so we'll navigate to stores and then uh, configuration under the settings option and on the configuration page just scroll down under the web cool block you'll find this uh, uh, option that's the order approval settings just tap that up and here we have general settings and uh, the email template settings and under the email template settings we have the order approval pending mail that would be sent out so you just need to choose it from the uh, drop down here you can also create your custom emails and they they will also be available here 
and uh, here you can also set up the order approved mail order disapproved mail that is sent out to the customer and now let's come to the general settings and here you can enable or disable this particular functionality within your web store by choosing a yes else to disable it choose a no set up the admin email that is uh, used for receiving the emails related to, to the order approval you can set up the conditional order approval check you can choose it as a yes or a no if you choose it no then uh, there's no need to set up the rules there okay otherwise if you can tap here on the yes and uh, what it does is that uh, if uh, the admin wants that the order approval uh, should be based on the certain conditions uh, then you can choose a yes and under the order approval required uh, you can set up uh, these conditions like uh, if an item is found in the cart with uh, all of these conditions true then the order approval should be automatic so it uh, depends upon you how you want to set up the conditions here you can add more conditions uh, by tapping the plus button there and uh, choosing the uh, condition to add as you can see for cart item attributes also you can choose uh, the option for them and similarly you have multiple other options to set up the order approval required conditions then you can set up the message for the buyers and this would be visible on the checkout page if uh, the order is in the uh, uh, moderation uh, period then you can set up the uh, message for the buyer when the order is completed so here you can see the place complete please complete the order by choosing an appropriate payment method so it's also uh, displayed to the customer at the checkout and uh, then we have the message for the guest user when placing an order so here you can see place login to place an order so we've already shown you within the uh, workflow of this particular plugin at the web store front end and lastly the admin can also export the pending order uh, data and for that he just needs to choose uh, the orders and then he can tap here and choose the option like the comma separated value file or the excel, excel xml file to export the pending orders for approval you just need to choose the type and then tap on the export button and that would download your export.csv file as you can see at the bottom left hand corner and if you open that up and uh, now open opening up the file so we had chosen only two orders there so only those two orders would be visible so here is the csv file for the same and you can ch uh, check the columns there there's the uh, purchase point is there uh, the rest of the details as well uh, for the particular order the billing address the uh, shipping address of the customer the name of the customer the uh, total that was there the name the payment method used and uh, if any to uh, refunds there as well so uh, that was much about the uh, magento 2 order approval rules plugin and i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of this particular plugin if uh, you have any questions queries or uh, suggestions or maybe you have any requirements as well then you can get back to us at any time uh, via support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com thanks for watching this particular video and have a great